Hello, my name is Scott Anger, and welcome to your third tutorial on the setting up Node with Vagrant, uh, or in Vagrant with VirtualBox. And in this tutorial, we're going to set it up so the Node's actually installed along with some other programs to run alongside it. So we're going to open up our uh, our code editor. I'm using Sublime, and essentially here we're going to want to create eight provision which allows us to uh, provision resources or such programs run commands before the the virtual box is even or before the virtual machine is even established so what we're going to do here is config.vm.pro vision and if I'm correct uh, vagrant pro shell shell scripts string path inline scripts external and then what we want to do uh, I didn't want to open that. Is do quotes shell comma path colon and then we're gonna uh, put it where its path is inside of quotes and if I'm correct yes inside of quotes and here we have or I have a sh provisioning script already downloaded or uh, up on a gist, a git hub gist and uh, that's a little bit difficult to say <laughs> and I'm just going to view the raw which will allow us to I'll, I'll, I'll post the link to this in the description I'll click view raw and we're going to hit control save and navigate to where our vagrant machine is no tutorial and just save provision.sh and it's saved as .txt so I'm gonna have to change that rename take off that okay cool so that's set up Essentially, now all we have to do is open up our terminal, cd to our directory, e slash vagrant node underscore, uh, underscore tab ls. And then what we're going to want to do here is vagrant provision. what we want to do is we want to finish writing out what we were going to write over here and we want to put in the provision.sh which will take us to this file right here what we want to provision so we need to do vagrant up which will start up the virtual machine and Just gonna wait a second. It should be done in no time at all. And then we want to, when this is done, shouldn't take too terribly long. We want to run vagrant provision. And if we do that, it's going to do run it through our sh file and do all the stuff we want it to do and you can see there it's getting uh, updates to the ubuntu machine for the app to get and now it's installing all the programs that we needed it to and now it's installing them 
Next, it'll add the repository, a re-update, and now it'll install node. This might take a couple of minutes. It took a lot of quite a while last time. And after it installs node through uh, through npm, it will install grunt uh, command and line interface. Okay, while we wait. I think I will pause it. And we're back. It's now up, up and running and we'll do vagrant vagrant SSH and then we're in I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to type node which will bring us the node interface and we can just type some JavaScript here just to test that it works. Uh, a equals 1 var b equals 3 semicolon uh, console.log a plus b and it give us the answer for back and un uh, I don't know exactly what the undefined means not 100% sure I'm not and essentially that's us getting this set up so I hit control C control C again to make sure that it's all fine and dandy and now in the next video I, I, I'm gonna exit out exit uh, vagrant halt and gonna wait for that to finish shutting down okay cool type exit and I'm gonna close sublime and close chrome well thank you very much for watching uh, in the next video actually make sure that the node server works uh, we'll set up a quick node server and we'll make sure that it works uh, thank you for watching please like subscribe or leave a comment behind hope to see you in the next videos bye bye